scary. Uh, it looks like we are seeing uh, Gran versus... I think that's... Eustace, 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 Grand versus Eustace. I didn't, didn't I catch the which character was picked, and unfortunately the screen went dark for a second, but we are back in the light of this beach summer sun. It's been a minute since I've seen Eustace at all in this game, so I'm actually really excited to see what's changed, what's been developed. And of course, I, I know Grand. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Grand, the classic. Uh, I've been talking a bit with uh, Jeff Zamu, and uh, his opinion is that Eustace is a strong character that's a little underdeveloped, a little underrepresented in the scene at large. So it's exciting to see some strong Eustace here. Yeah, an incredibly stylish character, too. I love watching the combos and the setups. Ooh, reversal baited, getting that good punish in between for the counter hit. Misses the extension on that, but otherwise a nice punish coming from Kersey. Kersey, huge lively counter hit, going to take a grip of damage, choosing not to cash out with the Super Skybound. Reversal Super connects, it's going to kill. Yeah, no, good call out. You have, you have buttons, you have enough frames there to, to play around with the opponent, but everyone presses a button and it's a good call. It tells your opponent you're willing to do it. Especially this early into a set, it's good to establish that sort of thing as being on the table. I was just teaching a friend a bit about fighting games and like, teach them disrespect early, right? Don't respect anyone in these games and I love that. <laughs> you gotta respect exactly enough. No more, no, no less. No less, yeah. Oh, good block on that overhead, but we still got the pressure. Ooh, no, doesn't quite make it close enough. Good bait. Right, going to uh, get a little damage here, get the hard knockdown. What is the Oki setup? A delay on the gun. I love that catches the spot dodge. Yeah, there's a huge life lead here. Going to use the overdrive, get the extra damage, get that eventuality. But into the corner, this is Plastic Max chance. Popping overdrive themselves, trying to make the best out of this offensive situation, getting huge damage here. Look at that grip. One more hit from either player. One good hit is all it's going to take. And Kersey presses first after the spot dodge. Going to take this first game. Yeah, I'm not sure what uh what we were expecting after that spot dodge, but press buttons, you know, why not? It, if they're you sleeping, know, it was it's a stare down. Yeah. It's just like the Wild West. Whoever shoots first shoots best. <laughs> and the man with several guns was in the position to take the shot. Just a couple. And Overdrive is, um, like, I, I researched the new mechanics, but I'm curious, like, uh, how players are going to use them. It's been developed. It's been out for a bit now. Everyone knows how to use them, and, uh, wow, that was really aggressive. I loved that. Yeah, Overdrive, it's pretty powerful on offense. It, it does a lot of damage if they block it, a lot of chip. It, I believe you get extra damage when you're in Overdrive. You have the Overdrive meter for a very, very, very long time. In order to punish it, you essentially have to spot dodge it. And so it puts you in this position where you're able to push your offense, get a ton of bonus damage, have access to all that overdrive length. And it just puts you in a great position to like close out a round that you're already winning pretty hard. Yeah, you're saying I don't need my super, which and has some problems with it, but hey. And at the same time, it's a good defensive mechanic. The, the overdrive stuff and also the other metered uses, the backdash and the dash forward, all have some nice uses at high level play. I love the, the dash cancels. Those are super cool to watch. All right, grab. Going for that classic Grand Blue Fancy stagger pressure. Good punish on the dodge. Yeah, that was a massive punch. Look at Kersey. We're, we're below 25%. Any of these counter hits could have turned to something bigger. Nothing just yet. Oh, nah. counter hit boot. I played a set against Plastic Mac earlier. One thing they're very, very good at is uh, adding a little bit of patience into that stagger pressure, doing a couple jabs and just waiting to see what you do and being a having like the presence of mind to react to like an errant whiff or an errant press and just cash out for a ton of damage and we were seeing that just now plastic mac is doing a really good job of staggering pressure and look at that love that chuckle oh. damage conversion all oh, counter hits That's out the grab wow plastic mac woke up i don't know what changed but plastic mac woke up <laughs> one one this is a anybody's game that could even be my game. It's crazy. That's how anybody's game this is. All right. Happy Kersey's getting back into it, though. Oh, who's going to win that? 5-H, the Beyblade. Grana, Gran didn't come out a winner in a lot of these patches, but the blade, but the Beyblade 5-H remains eternal. It's, it's shocking to me after all these patches. Gran still does Gran things. Like oh, this. Yeah, this like, kills. Like there, that's it. Thank big, you for big, the uh, big damage. Thank you for the commentator's blessing. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I like, 
Grand still does the grand thing. He gets the opening. You know, a lot of people like to say like the like who's the Ryu of the game. I think this is the Ken so many so often. <laughs> Like, it, this is just the very... energy, yeah. It's just so aggressive. And I want to say it's, uh, what's his face? Fire Sword Man. Uh, Percival? Yeah, Percival, but no, it's Grand. <laughs> oh, gets a hit there all, oh, but doesn't extend it. Ooh, minus frames. Kersey going to take that punish, get the Oki, roll through, good block. Very good block, and still more pressure to come. Great holding on, Plastic Mag. Not giving up anything. Very carefully pushing forward. Going to take this knockdown. Oh, calls nice. out that throw. And this is huge. There's the bomb. Detonation. Yeah, this might, this might just kill. I think it is. Yeah. Combat knife. Done. Activate. No way. Not quite enough. Too scaled. There's that overdrive. Overdrive such a useful tool for just setting the match back to neutral. Oh, Ooh, nice poke. Hard to do with a sliver of health, though. Great stuff from Kersey. Kersey clapping right back. I like that. Uh, that second set was one so, or uh, game was so on so fast. It's nice to see uh, Kersey showing a sign of life. Yeah, this is very, very, very close set. That Goldilocks spacing. Nice. Using. I really like Plastic Mac using the overhead to pull double duty, both to bait out low jab and to bait out throw tech attempts. What a throw, Good though, grab. from Kersey. Here's the setup. Great Counter staggered hit. pressure. Oh. I like that. It says, like, you got a bomb. That's great. I'm going to DP it because every, every use is pressing the button there. They baited it, and this kills. You have, to, uh, you have to dodge before the screen freeze. Yes. You have to be ready. You have to know. You have to have it in your heart, your soul. What a spot dodge. Incredible stuff. We are moving on. A 2-1 advantage over here for Plastic. That's, and that's a lot of momentum, too. Two in a row right now, and still finding these counter hits. Yeah, especially with how explosive Plastic Max confirms are. Their damage is so consistent. Oh, and they still found one all that distance. It punishes the spot dodge. One more wake up. They're shimmy into 5H. I like that a lot. A lot of respect from Kersey, and look at that. Plastic Max just waits and says, do it. I dare you. Plastic Max's overall game plan is so clean. So many times this set, they've done that little shimmy and then done like an overhead or a throw attempt. And finally here in this game where it's all on the line, they shimmy and then 5 H to try to beat either thing that beats it. Just such a good, well thought out long-term pressure oh, formation. I love the fireball pressure, but Kersey finds an opening. Oh, but gets caught on the dash in. Oh, still finding it. No way punished though. Nice anti -air. This is Kersey's chance. I'm shocked that that did not get punished by the 5-H. Uh, Sometimes even 5-H can't get you there. <laughs> Good call out. Oh, this Still. is huge. This is so big. This might actually just be it, I think. And yeah, there it is, there it Plastic is. Mac. Perfect, Plastic Mac was so impeccable the whole set on getting the maximum amount of damage off of every stray hit. Their yeah. optimization was so clean. Yeah, I was, that was exactly the comment I was going to make. Like, they converted off of everything. Every single good opening, and they were like, okay, pop the bar. This is a wall bounce. They get everything they wanted. I love you. I love Usus as a character, and I love a lot of what I saw there, but just not enough openings were capitalized on. And in the in the shimmying mind game footsies department, Plastic Mac had it. Yeah, they, they, they were getting, like, fairly – you know, back and forth exchanges at neutral, but the, I think I agree. The big determining factor there was when Plastic Mac got that hit, the damage was just so huge. And that adds up over time, over the course of a longer set, over the course of many different interactions. Yeah, and one thing I saw, it reminds me of uh, old Daigo back in Street Fighter 4, was using, uh, there was a moment towards the end using Fireball as a poke, right? Just in that range where it's almost unreactable, and you just gotta, like, find it in your heart to either poke it out or, like, Call the, call it yeah, with a jump. You, you gotta believe. You have to believe in those, and that's that's hard. And so I can't wait to see Plastic Mac and Grands. But here we are. We're on to the loser side of things. Yeah, I see. We still have plenty of great Grand Blue action coming up. I'm trying to see who they're picking right now. I should not know who's who right now. <laughs> What's up, <gasps> Vasaraga? I know a character. I can talk about this character. <laughs> Vasaraga versus Belial. Tez, I know you love me. Okay, he just he pointed back at me. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm a uh, I'm a very big fan of Vasaraga. Uh, fell in love with this character the moment I saw Grand Blue versus. God, what a cool kit! I love seeing some uh, 
big boy seasoning. Oh, man. I love me some big boy seasoning. And I'm curious how this is going to play out because I don't know how this matchup meta has sort of developed. Belial's been terrifying for a long time. and He's a scary boy. He has that 2M that's still plus on block in the year 2022. There are still moves plus on block? It's crazy. You think they'd get rid of them by now, but they're still coming up with them. So this is... I, I played against Data earlier uh, as Beelzebub, and one thing that uh, really struck me was their patience. They're willing to spend 60 seconds getting in there to get that opportunity to kill you in two hits. Yeah, and and it, it, Vosorgo really can do it. And when you're in the corner, it's rough. And actually, I'm worried about Gert here, but they got some pressure started. The willingness to jump in, say, Data, use that anti-air, I dare you. Because that anti-air is good, but you got to know. And Gert, they're playing the matchup you know, the way you do when you're a zoner against a grappler. you got to make it the grappler's job to move in on you, right? Yeah, they got to make them earn the match. Okay, to jump in. Oh, doesn't get the cross up hit. A little tiny sweep from Data is going to work. Big damage. Not quite killing yet, but one more good hit. And Data's going to take the first round here. Great patience it. waiting. <laughs> Grab. It's it's such a like when when the Belial player gets that you're like that was the sickest yeah. play in the world when they whiff it it's the funniest thing you're yeah. like oh he's walking <laughs> at me menacingly menacingly <laughs> however Let's open you up. good oh my god D Dana just said yeah I'll get armor here <laughs> what a call out go oh, okay good DP from Gert like seeing that they get the cross yeah, they're up taking the turn back <laughs> they get the frame trap ooh nice that button man <laughs> Gert taking the life lead. But they get anti-aired, and this is Data's time. Unfortunately, back to full screen, we have returned to neutral. Oh, run up throw, great tech from Data. Jumps into the pinwheel. Don't do that. We've returned to the zoner's paradise. Well, we got, oh. but we have armor. There's the EX, and it is fast enough to punish that. Gert now in the corner gets Counter caught. Counter hit. This is here. This could be big. Oh, no super. But look at this lively chip damage. Definitely a huge threat here. What a call out too to go into stance and instantly low. Like that's that's not the safest option in the world. That's that's a call out in half. I love that. But the low connects and they are able to take that game one. Game number two now. Oh whipping grabs in the night. What if we whipped grabs on the moon? <laughs> How Alright, zoning time again. Getting that uh buff stage. It's the name of the game here. Gotta get that buff so that you can shoulder tackle your way in. All right, here we go. Grappler time, good reversal. Very good reversal, always going for that cross up. Doesn't get the throw this time, but we can walk up a little more here. Data's throw techs are clean. Oh, they're very, very good. I think uh, DNF Duel definitely uh, warmed them up for it. Right, counter hit. Uh, getting a lot of uh, counters on Oki. There's the command grab. This is scary stuff. Stance cancel, I like the dance. What a call out, great stuff from Gert. Nice cross up. <laughs> look at the drop, we're gonna return to neutral. Whoa. Nothing on that hit. Oh, look at that. Data waiting so long to do the jab, but Gert did not bite. They are able to get their neutral chance once again. If you can, you wanna punish that armor state. It can be a little oh, no. difficult. A yeah. little slow on the punish. Yeah, that EX one ends pretty fast. <laughs> a little hard to punish. Normal one, a bit easier. Battle two. Engage. Round and start. Large button. Yeah, makes me makes me think of guilty. <laughs> the jump in, text to throw again. Oh my god! Like grappler players are ready. Dude, I was man. Like Gert's doing such a good job mixing it too, but like Data's just ready. There's the knock. Here's oh, I the like mix. that frame kill. A good grab. No, not again. <laughs> Jumping, trying to get the uh, maximum punish, but unfortunately not quite able to get it there. But take the corner. Very, very good stuff. Unfortunate. Tried to stall in the air there, but that crouching heavy goes up all the way. <laughs> Taking their turn, and the minus frames getting the low. This is very, very big for Data. They just need that one last anti-air. Two, oh, it is uh, going to be Data moving on here in the bracket. Gur had a lot of really good ideas, and I like the startup, but, but Data was so ready. So ready for it, which you want to see. And also, I said, I mentioned in uh, DNF Duel, I think warmed him up. The texts from Data even there were good. Like, it was it was fantastic to see. So I'm, uh, I'm happy to see that transfer. Uh, Juan Barraza's Space Age on Eyes of Azerbaijan. Character select. 
Yeah, it does. Yep. Very, very excellent match. And I, I think the throw techs were really instrumental there. Grand Blue is a game where often players live and die by throw techs. Like, there's huge arguments to be made that in a lot of situations, you just wait to get thrown and red tech it, right? Like, you have this kind of safe half measure when you're getting thrown, but all of those techs were full techs. They weren't late techs. They yeah, were they were, like, none of them were late. <laughs> they were so clean, so consistent. And just when that option is removed from your toolkit, if you lose an entire third of the high-low throw game, it can be so hard to figure out how to crack a player who's just said, no, you may not throw me. You need to figure out some other way to open me up. Yeah, good stagger pressure is a nice way to deal with that. Change your rhythm, change how you play around that block scenario. Get them to second guess themselves. It's it's hard and uh, it's difficult, but that's all it takes, right? One person who texts all your throws and suddenly you're uh, dealing with it a lot differently. But then we go though, we're gonna go to losers finals. Some more Vasaraga action versus Eustace, so. And the grappler running the projectile character gauntlet. <laughs> a tale as old as time. Yeah. It's uh, but Zangief it's versus 45 guiles <laughs> dot WMV <laughs> dot MP4. But you know what's what's nice about it, though, is that, like, every grappler player knows this is their match. If they get in, they win. And it's like, and that's such a fun feeling. Eustace is a different beast, though. So I'm curious how uh, Kersey's going to play this. It's gonna work. All right, buff is enabled. Vasaraga has become purple. Gets away with it nice in no dodge, but not plus enough to press that there. Kersey taking the offense, got the knockdown. What is the pressure? Overhead getting blocked. Great, but it's a late throw tick this time. And there's oh the no, counter this hit. Is huge. This is huge. It's not going to kill, but of course, the next mix is the scary one. Whoa, what a call out. All right, good stagger. And yet, that's kind of what you do if you're playing against someone who's you know you know they're very very good at teching they're doing it on reaction they're not going for the late techs you can do the run up overhead to uh punish the preemptive tech it's just this layer of a uh, decision making in pressure that's so unique to grand blue so interesting to watch it really brings me back to a lot of third strike especially like early on like when that game was like first getting developed like that mix was so important in that game. And it's and I love seeing that here. It's it's interesting. Life bars, Kersey looking a little rough right now. That data getting so much damage from pokes, but Kersey has taken their turn. Gets the overhead. Data doesn't press a button though, so we're good. A little bit of chip damage. Both players at full meter too. A full stick of butter is very scary. Yeah, oh yeah, you're one you're one big counter hit from killing someone if you're not careful. Good Patience. blocking. Takes the overhead. Good blocks block. the next one. You can't Plus frames. Oh, <gasps> super armor. All right. Oh, no way. And I shooting at him. I love that Data said, I'm going to hit you with a wake up fireball. It's a really nice piece of Oki for Vasaraga, but uh, not against a projectile or yeah. fully invulnerable super. <laughs> they were ready. What a response. Oh, what a response. God, I love fighting games. Again, I, and also, it's nice to see Kersey still doesn't respect anyone, and I'm so happy about that. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, and you shouldn't. Don't look at me like that. You should be proud of that. <laughs> disrespect is a, is, a, is a good mark of a good player. It was a reaction, okay? Yeah, <laughs> it was a disrespectful reaction. You <laughs> it doesn't make it not hot. Look, <laughs> fighting games. <laughs> fighting games are about looking good and being a bad person and then shaking hands afterwards. Yeah, you got to be as nice as possible to people outside of the game if you're a fighting game player. Mm -hmm. You need to even out the karma. You're an alpha player, right? I, I just yeah, I'm to an drop alpha that. player. Yeah, you know, yeah, you, you, you know <laughs> I might have learned this lesson for a very particular reason. Who could say? It's a mystery. <laughs> 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 Sorry. So Catalina used this. Catalina, much more neutral focused character. Strong pokes. Good projectile. This is the Ryu. Good reversal. Yeah, if, Catalina. If Grand's is the Ken, Catalina's the Ryu. <laughs> Catalina is re-wearing armor. And a sword, which I never give him a sword. Capcom, you didn't hear me say that. Don't give Ryu a sword. A little bit of a cross up there. Oh, what a, what a charge on that. I love Kersey's use of charge. It's very, very clean stuff. Nice counter hit. That's one of the nicest parts about of Catalina, right? You get one hit, you knock him down. It's, it's simple. Oh, what a, what a counter poke says, stop that dodge. Oh my god. Day's kind of crazy with this. Conversion's looking good, though. 
Gets the knockdown. One What's more good hit. What's for breakfast? Again, taking advantage with the overdrive a little too early. The block stun is so high. Look at this pressure. Very I patient. love, very patient. Kersey gets out of the corner. Unfortunately, the side swap. Plus frames. And chip damage. Yeah, uh, it's, that's brutal. And you still have the bomb on you. Like, there was more coming if you had a health bar. Yeah, it's a rough place to be. Oh, shout outs to the dog. Shout outs to the dogs. What is the dog doing? They, as they say. Oh, right, good. Counter hit, good frame traps. God, that, uh, I forget how far that uh, standing medium goes. EX, there it the is. Overhead. Gonna get a lot of damage. One more big hit. And a full stick of butter, once again. Gonna go for overdrive, I like that. Reversal, smart play. Nice anti-air. Kersey very ready, very aware. Day needs to take a moment. Like, the, like Kersey's pressure is insane. The staggers are good. You need to define more of this match for you. You can't just let the opponent control the whole thing. And it's hard, because Catalina's got the buttons for it, but if you lose the confidence, it doesn't matter who you're playing. Yeah, this is a, a tough situation, but it ain't over till it's over. That's not a dud. Never is. Great low. Grab enforced. Overhead connects. Overhead blocked. Taking back the plus frames. But there is the anti air. Kersey's anti air is so consistent, so good. Getting all of this damage. Going for a bit of a reset. Getting the grab. Oh, what a counter hit. And with the dash, comes all the way in and converts that. Kersey's on point right now. I, I Again. Happened in the in the last tournament I commentated. Kersey's heating up a bit. Like this is this is more of a sign of life than we saw in the first set. He's heating up. He's on fire. Good spot dodge. Going through the projectile. Nice two P during the class situation. That's not a dud. Right. Unfortunately, gets hit by that second hit of the grenade. Okay. Well, the standoff. Throw him back in the corner. Oh, oh big no. big starter. Super is here. Are we I don't think it's going to kill. They're probably going to go. They're going for it. Yep. Cash out. Because it puts Data in a really rough situation. Very plus there. Gets the counter hit. No follow They were up. ready for it to counter hit. Data, another chance at life. Able to take like mm. plus frames, but a block by Kersey is going to seal it out. Yeah, the dash game. punch there. Excuse me, dash strike. <laughs> I'm a ball rug player. Leave <laughs> me alone. Um, but like that's that moves negative when you're just a little too close like that. And... Data was just hoping for it. Unfortunate stuff, but Kersey, though, I'm really excited to see what's next because uh, this Grand's going to be even better now, I would imagine. Yeah, we're looking at a – and are we up to Grand Finals already? It's going to be a Grand versus Eustace, I believe. Can't be Grand Finals without Grand. Yeah, it's in the name. It's in the name. Grand Finals. It's crazy. I'm buying one of those controllers. I <laughs> Afterwards, yeah, yeah. Go kick some bite, and then I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah, for those of you out here – in Streamland, it's one of those uh, much smaller snack box snack micro, boxes. Snackbox micro, yeah. Mm. It's uh, those, um, so it's basically, for those you've never seen it, it's a hitbox, right? So you got your button layout instead of a joystick. But it's small, like it's uh, roughly the size of a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a good like, comparison. Yeah. yeah, like it's pretty fantastic. Um, I'm sick of joysticks, and I just had two arcade sticks die on me back to back. So I'm 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 like in the market. And I'm like I don't want to deal with joysticks anymore. Yeah, I'm a pad player, so uh, I don't know, ever have to deal with this stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't ask me how many controllers I've had to buy. You know, so please don't ask. Me. Repairing sometimes <laughs> repairing these like. These could, like these bigger K6 and stuff can be rough, especially if like a board dies on you and you've never done that before. Yeah, but when a pad goes out, you just gotta buy a new you, one. Yeah, but at least you can just go buy another one. Like like I I get my Snapbox Micro Micro in December. That, that's a yeah, bit like <laughs> where you could just go to Walmart and be like, yeah, I need another one. I, I've actually had to do that mid tournament. I've had to no. go. No. Yeah, I had to go to a Target and buy a controller. <laughs> out of state, it was a uh, it was quite a produ production on my end, but. Turned out fine. Speaking of turning out better than fine, it's great because we're in grand finals. Percival versus Gran. Percival, very slick character. Wait, Percival's here? Wait, I didn't even look. Hold on. Percival, the man with the sword and the command grab. Not Ken, but close. At least you got the flaming DP. This is, I mean, this is a cool character. Oh, and, and there's the button. That big 5H, just kind of always passively threatening 20% life from like three character lengths away. 
And as long as you got fire stocks, you're fine. Okay, good extension. We've seen this before. Plastic Mac consistent Fate. as ever. This is death. Goodbye. Plastic Mac with the two touch. I have not seen them yet today get a good starter and not fully capitalize. And, and that's like one of the nicest parts about characters like Cran. You're not looking for these super technical moments. You find an opening and you, you make your punish. Yeah, and the consistency Plastic Mac has had just really shows how much work a character like this can still do. Gran, the balance patches have not been kind to him, but you wouldn't know it looking at the sheer output from Plastic Max Gran. And just like that, an almost 90% life lead. But if Kersey is gonna take this round, it begins like this, five stocks. I'm the Lord of Flames. And oh, just like that. Kersey gets called out. And that's a, and, and the thing with like, that play, Plastic Man just walked away. And then Kersey has to approach, which is what you want to do as Percival, but when you're that low on health, you can't afford a single mistake. Yeah. I actually really like that play from uh, Mac. It, it's smart. They're leveraging their life lead, and Grand is a very good character at counter poking. Ooh, not respecting the plus frames, but they do get the EX boot. Whoa, what a throw tech from Kersey. There's that Daigo fireball pressure. I'm telling you, it's, it's strong. That stuff is hard. You gotta. Wow. <laughs> the timing was so perfect. Oh my god, I didn't know I was gonna see like COD Valorant timing in a fighting game, but there it is. Ooh, counter hit, full conversion. Full. This is death. Goodbye. Counter hit, 2M, nice. 2M. Two M. Love to see it. Plastic wow. Mac on fire. Plastic Mac is unstoppable. This is, uh, they're insane. Like this is, this is some good grand. Like, it's just solid. It doesn't mess around. It's all fundies. It's super jumping in neutral. Another level of confidence. <laughs> and we know that. And we know that Max on a box too. So like, there's no this. <laughs> that wasn't an unintentional input. There's no way. I like that grab a lot. Last time that got blocked. Uh, Plastic Mac got counter hit. That time, Kersey uh, just went for the grab, knowing Plastic Mac was going to be a little uh, more scared to press. Oh no! Don't be whiffing those DPS. Full knockdown, no bar spent. So this is big if you get a the counter shimmy. hit. Shimmy Neutron, boy genius. Knock setup. Oh. Ooh. Spending some meter. Spot dodge, getting punished. All right. This is Kersey's time. Kersey's got fire. We're almost in corner pressure. This is your chance. Are we going to find an opening? Nice Gold. knockdown. Here it is. Command grab. Not going to be able to kill. Going to be able to get a knockdown, though. Overdrive. Going into overdrive. Oh, Tries to go for a range. 2S punish. And we're currently at a 2 0 situation. Plastic Mac looking to take it. Plastic Mac looking so strong. I go to McDonald's, I get a Plastic Mac, I'm mad. I play Grand Blue, I get a Plastic Mac, I'm so happy. <laughs> Some people are also probably mad, but <laughs> depends on what part of bracket you're in. Ooh, there it is. That's such an omnipresent threat at neutral from Percival. All right, DP, you get a knock. We do with the stagger pressure. Oh, calls out the stagger, actually. Just presses some buttons. So stop that. Ooh, commits to the EX boot. But it uh, safe spacing. Nice roll out of the corner. Super jumps out. JD, the big pizza cutter in the sky. That move is gigantic. Look at this. Just this very patient this is presser. <laughs> Percy waiting for the perfect moment to reversal. I love that Mac was trying to leverage all that pressure and Kersey was patient through the whole thing. Spending the super. He's very pro-rated. It's not quite going to kill. Overdrive connects. And by connects, I mean is blocked, but that's good enough here because now it is Plastic Mac's turn once again. And Ooh, spot, nice a bad spot stuff. dodge. Great projectile from Kersey. Kersey showing a sign of life. There's your On first the round. You can turn this into more. Run with this pressure. Let's see it. Good anti-air, good little stuff. conversion. Turns into a reset, but Plastic Max saying, no, I want to take my turn now. Nice match, doesn't connect though, this is really big. Plastic Mac taking a little bit of damage, taking the corner, shimmies the grab attempt. Going to get huge damage, but a bit of an uncharacteristic drop still. One stray move connecting, and That's this it. is going to kill. Uh, this is tournament point for Plastic Mac. Yeah. I could use more practice. Whew. What a statement, too. This, you gotta hold on right here. I just noticed it says Grand Bracket B Finals. <laughs> Thank you so much, Serge. <laughs>
I'm the Lord of Flames. We got a full stock. What are we going to do with it? Start some pressure. Oh, misses that opening, unfortunately. There it is. Knockdown. We got corner. All right, back up to five spicy quarters. How is Percival going to spend them? Oh Great anti-air. Getting the damage, taking the corner. I can see you. Patience. Good patience. I just didn't press a button. But boot going to take this big damage. All right. Knockdown situation. Jab, overdrive. Patience. Oh, they try to press. It's plus. There's your throw. Calls out the DP. Big punish, but not quite enough to kill. And they have the courage oh. to mash. Plastic Mac with the courageous lights is going to take the event. Congratulations to our Grand Blue Fantasy versus champion, Plastic Mac. You said it, right? Just enough respect. It was like, hey, this just pressure's enough. good. This pressure's good. Here's a hole. The, like, it just the optimal amount of respect. Exactly enough respect to thread the needle. Love seeing that. God, Plastic Mac inspired me to want to pick up Grand in this game. <laughs> it's so, like, I always forget about Grand Blue because I'm so busy with Splatoon and Smash and stuff. And I see this game again. I'm like, man, the neutral in this game, it always gets me so excited this watching people. This game is sick. Grand Blue is such an incredible game to watch. Uh, I, I think you mean Splatoon. It is Splatoon. It is That's true. Splatoon. I'll say that at Big House for you. <laughs> Once on the mic. I, I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hooking me up. I got you. But thank you all for tuning in. We Absolutely. got more fighting games to come. I believe it's Dragon Ball next. I'm looking at Surge. Yes. BFZ. If you like that Marvel style fun, you're going to get it. Top eight, actually. So I hope you all stick around for that. But that's enough from us. Minimat, it's a pleasure. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Had a blast. And we will see you all soon.